Hey guys, I'm going to teach you basic iMovie green screen or blue screen and making footage look really HD. Obviously, to make a movie, you've had to have taken your footage, which I've already done. It's right there. I mean, I have a lot of different footage, but that's going to be one of the examples. So, after you've taken it, save it to the desktop. You can either download it off the internet or import it with a camera. Then you drag it into an event library by going file, oops, file, import movies, and you do create new event. And then I'll just do tutorial. And then you go here and you choose the um, the video and then obviously you need a project library to do that so now you see it's down here this is a blue screen video by the way so you hit the plus button then you name it I'll name teach and then you hit create and then let's say I really like this clip and I want only this much in, but I accidentally double click and drag it in. Let's say I don't want this extra blue space. You just click and drag to the part where you don't want it. And then you hit the delete button. Um, and then that's it. So if I wanted to make a whole movie, like if I were to do this, go to this library, and let's say I wanted to add this, I'd do the same thing. If I wanted to delete it, I'd do that or whatever. And then, ta-da, there's your clip. Um, da -da -da. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to teach you one of the most loved effects in all of movie making, green or blue screens. Um, you can choose really anything that's a solid green or blue color to film in front of, um, and then you choose what you want to be screened onto or what you filmed to be screened onto. For the blue screen example, I'm going to use this helicopter because I think it's a good example. Um, and then for the other example, let's see, here it is, I'm going to use me. So I will start with the green screen. And let's say I wanted to green screen myself into Casino Royale like you just saw. I would take this and drag it on. Then I would drag that in. Then I would go to iMovie. Oops. Click Preferen Preferences. Give me a second. Preferences. And then you want to click Show Advanced Tools. I already have this clicked. And um, just a little professional tip, I guess. If you see this button right here, you're going to want to click it because it has a more final cut or professional editing program look to it um, because if you're really serious about video, this is the way it's going to be with your projects or your event library up here and your projects down here. So, oops, okay, so now I'm going to take my green screen video just the part I want and then I'm going to drag it 
to where I want, which is right here. And then you see all of these options. And I'm going to do green screen, because that's what I filmed in front of. And you see I come up right there. It's not the greatest look, but it's passable for iMovie. Um, yeah, and then let's say I wanted to be on a blue screen in front of a parking lot. So you drag in this picture and release. And you see it's moving like that, which can be a cool effect, but not when you're trying to make it look like you're somewhere or something is somewhere. So you can choose fit, crop, Ken Burns, I don't really like for green screen because it kind of moves around. If you can, So if I hit play, you see it moves. Um, I personally like fit. Um, so then you choose your clip. So let's say this is 24 seconds. So I would click this and click the little gear. Clip adjustments. This was 24. So I'll type in 24, and if you want, hit enter, and if you want, you can add, you can like flip it over, or you can add all of these effects just by clicking video effect, and then you take, oops, you double click it, and you hit done, drag it on, and you do not want this green thing to come up you want it to be right there and pick whatever you filmed in front of for this example blue screen and then you'll see that's actually and obviously if you were making a really serious video you'd spend more time on it but this was just like a little video I pulled off the internet so I think this is actually pretty good for internet video but um, anyway um, and then let's say you want to fine tune it. You take this slider and slide it all the way down to a half second. Let's say this was a little more here, hold on, offset, kind of like that, kind of like that. And this is all the video you have. You just click, drag, and hit delete. So now I'm going to teach you how to make your footage look really high definition. So obviously you're gonna do this when you're done editing. Um, and there are a lot of different ways to do this depending on the programs you have. So you're gonna wanna go up here to share and you see you have these options, export movie, export using QuickTime, and um, export Final Cut XML. Obviously, if you don't have Final Cut, you cannot use this option. So if you just are like a beginner and you want to only use iMovie for this project and not fine-tune it on a $300 program, then that's out of the picture. So now you have Export Movie. But you see the highest it can get without it only being able to be seen on a computer is 1080 by 720 so that's what a lot of people do or a lot of people do large most people do medium because you can see it on all devices but that is not what you should do you should go up to share export using QuickTime and then most people just hit save but you go to options size and you see there's this whole list of options and um, there's this option right here, 1920 by 1080. And this is the highest resolution it can go. And this can be seen on all devices. So you're going to pick that. If you really want to, you can go to custom and type in, like, I don't know, 2180 by 2000. I mean, that's like a ridiculously high number. and It'll take forever to render. And if you are doing a ridiculously high number, make sure the big number is 180 more than the other one. So I'm just going to go with this. And then if you want to give it a cinematic look, click here. 
this little check thing. I don't really know what to call it. And click here. Um, I like letterbox because it gives it a, a cool little look. And you hit OK. OK. And then this is a scene from a movie I've been working on. Tutorial export. And then you hit save. From this moment, united and determined to the ultimate and undeniable greatness of the whole man.